Hello everyone, I am Ojo and in this video I will show you how to use the Merge Synergy script by Thalixte. This script makes it possible to easily merge two projects that we created with Google Earth Decoder. And also we are going to see how to add a small area with a high level of detail to a larger area. This guide assumes that you already know how to use Google Earth Decoder and the optimization script, also by Thalixte. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please watch my previous tutorial about this topic. You can find the link here on the top right and in the description. For this tutorial, we are going to pay a visit to Northern Italy and more precisely to the region of Lombardy. Let's imagine this kind of scenario. Mr. Ojo spent the whole night recreating Sirmione del Garda, a charming town with a gorgeous castle on the shores of Italy's largest lake. He can't wait to see the results, but... Oh no! Part of the city is missing! The tiles are not there! Time to panic? No! Mr. Ojo is very relaxed because he knows how to use the Merge Synergy script and now he's gonna teach you! The first steps are quite simple. We make a new copy of the simple scenery folder and we edit it in the same way as seen in the previous video. This time I named it Ojo SRC from source because this is the project from which the tiles will be added to our main project, which has been prepared earlier and named Ojo Dest, as in destination. Let's open Google Earth Decoder and select the area that we want to integrate into our main project. I make the two areas overlap a bit. So I'll start drawing from here. Actually, this overlapping is not strictly necessary because the program captures an area that is slightly larger than the rectangle that we draw. I still like to overlap the areas because, you know, better safe than sorry, okay? Now we need to select where to put our files, which of course is the package sources folder inside our new directory, Ojo SRC in my case. The level of detail range should remain the same as in the main project, and I'm referring especially to the lower value, 17. The higher value could actually be higher than usual, but this will come in handy later in the last part of the video. For now, we keep the level of detail as we did in the main project, so between 17 and 19. The color correction should have the same values used in the main project. It goes without saying that we want the two parts to look similar, don't we? Finally, we click on Download. Once we are done with Google Earth Decoder, we start Blender in administrator mode. We remove all these elements. We open the console and click on the scripting tab. We load the scenery optimization tool and make all the necessary changes before running it. Again, if this sounds confusing, please watch the tutorial linked in the description. Once the script is done running, we have to load and edit the Merge Sceneries file. On line 19, we have to enter the address of the directory that contains the two projects that we are going to merge together. Please note that we have to put double slashes here, not single ones. On line 22, we write the name of the source directory. For me, it's Ojo SRC. On line 25, we do the same, but with the name of the destination folder. The first half of line 28 is where we put the address where we installed the flight simulator SDK. The second half, tools slash slash bin should not be modified. On lines 32 and 36, we input the names of the XML files of the two projects in the same order seen above. First the source, then the destination. Same thing goes for lines 48 and 52. On line 58, we can decide whether to have the script build a package for us 
and in this case we'll write true or we can also decide to do it later in flight simulator and so we can write false here we can now run the script and wait once this operation is finished, we just need to go back to the simulator, load our main project, Ojo Dest in my case, and check that the two parts have been merged together. As you can see, the missing tiles have been added to our project in the right way. Now we can make the necessary changes and perform the same steps as seen in my previous tutorial, such as aligning the tiles, drawing polygons and so on. Then we save the scenery from the scenery editor window and well, we are done. We just have to build the package one last time, then transfer our files inside the community folder. Again, I'm not showing these steps because they are found in my previous guide and I'm pretty sure most of you know them already. Before moving on to the next use of the merge scenery script, I'd like to make you aware that sometimes merging two projects together might bring some issues with the alignment of the tiles. You'll need to manually make the necessary realignment. That being said, let's see how to use this script if we want to increase the detail of small areas by merging a high detail project into one that has the standard level of detail of 17 to 19. In order to do this, we create a new directory from a copy of Simple Scenery. After having made the necessary changes, we go back to Google Earth Decoder and select the area that is going to have a higher level of detail. Don't forget to choose the right output folder over here. And because the chosen area is presumably very small, or so it should be, we can now increase the maximum level of detail to 20 or even 21. The important thing, and this is very important, is that the minimum value must remain the same as the main project. 17 in most cases. Let's set the color correction and then click on download. As you can see, the number of tiles is very large. Once we are done here, we launch Blender in administrator mode and we repeat the same steps as before. We optimize the new project and then we merge it with the main one. Don't forget to make the necessary changes to both scripts. Finally, we go back to Flight Simulator load our main project and start moving the camera closer to the high detail area that we imported a few moments ago. As we get closer to the castle, I'm sure you can see that there is a problem with the textures. The color correction seems to have failed here. My theory is that this is a problem with Google Earth Decoder, but I've yet to find an easy solution. Even by restarting from scratch, this issue with the texture can still occur. We can always go and find the texture file and modify it ourselves, but it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. We can narrow down our search by looking at the code that identifies the tile that includes the faulty texture and limit our search only to the files with that code. But we are still talking about dozens of files, and this is quite impractical. If you can suggest a better solution, please leave a comment here below. But let's forget about textures for now, and let's focus on the model. As you can see from this comparison, the new castle on the right is much more detailed than the old one on the left. Looks like it's another success, at least partial, okay? But don't forget to save, build the package, and put the add-on folder in the community directory. And here we are, at the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching it, and uh, let me know in the comments if it was useful to you, and if you had any issues with it.
I'll try to give you the best answers I can, but please remember that I give answers only based on my experience. I didn't create the scripts, I didn't create Google Earth Decoder, so I'm just applying what I learned. And it's not much, but I hope it's enough for you to understand how to deal with this merge scenery script. Having said that, all I have to do is remind you that I am Ojo, and we will meet again in the next video.